Hey, I'm Jamie Orr and this is the City Golf Challenge. I've flown from America to South Africa to build one of the most famous South African cars with a little bit of a difference. We're gonna try and fit a 3.6 liter VR6 engine with almost 300 horsepower in five days. Yesterday, I arrived in Johannesburg. We went straight from the airport and bought the car. It's a 1991 City Sport with the original 1.8 carbureted eight valve motor, which immediately we ripped out, ripped the interior out, and on day one of the build, this is what we're left with. We're here at Euro Projects. Uh, we're near the uh, Ellis Stadium. So these guys are gonna get this into paint as soon as we possibly can, hopefully today. Uh, today is Sunday. We need to be driving this on Thursday. So interior, paint, suspension, brakes, 3.6 motor, five days. That's it, day one, I mean, let's, let's do it. <laughs> Flew with these on the plane. Brand new BBS Japan center caps. From ECS tuning, we have the the big heat and filter. We have all the spare parts. We need the tuner bolts for the wheels. We need. Um, we got a lot of parts coming from Volkswagen South Africa, like the doors, the fenders, the bonnet. They're all brand new, coming from VW South Africa, which is amazing. Yeah, no pirate, no copies, no aftermarket. Volkswagen South Africa said. Yeah, we, we like the project, we want to help, so, but today's Sunday and we need to hopefully have them here tomorrow. We need tires still, we need the bolts to mount the wheels because they need to be the tuner uh, bolts. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the main stuff. That's two things that we can't, we can't move a car without tires and without wheel bolts. So the engine mounts are custom made by Eurowise. It uses the standard mounting location inside the Golf 1 and it bolts up to the Mark 3, Mark 4 hydraulic transmission. This is their re rear engine mount for the 3.6 liter. They also make them for the 12 valves, the regular 24 valves. An aftermarket polyurethane bushing, but it's direct bolt in. So literally you bolt these on the motor, you put the motor in, put the original bolt in to mount it, and you're done. The big thing with the 3.6 though is the motor is so physically big compared to the normal 12 valve or the 2.8 liter. You can't lift it up, it's gotta go down, and it's so big that you can't change anything once it's inside the engine bay. So the intake manifold, you can't get to the bolts, you can't get to the water pump. Everything is so tight in there that we have to do it beforehand and then put it in once and hope that that's it. Oh, Jesus. So we got to the car and it's not an original dash. It was cut into an earlier car. It's all cracked. It's kind of beat up. It's missing stuff. It doesn't work. Uh, it's basically a piece of shit. So now we're waiting for someone else to maybe come with one, but who knows? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's normal. That's why I flew here with a bunch of stuff. We're basically almost stripped, taking the carpet out, dashboard is out now. I'm gonna start on the wiring as soon as that's done. Um, the engine bay needs more work to be in primer, which means tomorrow it will be painted. So hopefully by the end of tomorrow, it'll be dry and then we can start putting the engine in. Cause that's the thing, we can't do it. the engine until some of the wiring's prepped. We can't touch the engine bay until it's painted. So we're just at this frustrating TV moment of drama where we need to keep moving, but we can't. We have to slow down and, and wait. And it doesn't get any worse than this. I mean, we're totally stripped. The, the inside strip, the outside strip. It's, it's not a car anymore. How to remove a Mark I windshield, take one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have five days. We're gonna do everything fast and, and super unsafe. Jamie, you know you could have sold it for about three hundred bucks. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had one crack. Air conditioning. <laughs> 